Hey, welcome to Stomp the Idiot or Coco Sports and Pro Wrestling.me's New Japan Dominion. This is going to be more of a quick thoughts than review, but usually my quick thoughts go on forever. Plus, I'll read some comments, you know, later on that I got through different social medias, and I'm hoping that this video will do. Um, I have not seen WWE Money in the Bank yet. Um, if LK isn't busy with side projects, that should be going up tonight. Hopefully I get to talk to him. And um, as always, we ask win, loss, or tie. What did you think of Dominion? This isn't a full review or quick thoughts, but I run, I run at the mouth a bit. I think this was a huge win. I, it was a lot of surprises. And for the record, I got I to gotta come clean. I am a huge Okada fanboy. I think Okada is the greatest wrestler in the world right now. Uh, you know, I think that torch gets passed from time to time. I think Tanahashi at one time was the best wrestler in the world. Kurt Angle in his prime, CM Punk, Daniel Bryan. You know, it goes on and on and on of who's the best wrestler in the world. But as of right now, I think the best wrestler in the world is Okada, and I'm a huge fanboy. And he won, and it brought so much joy to my heart. I even put on Twitter, let me see if I can read one of my tweets real quick. It's kind of douchey to quote yourself, but hey, welcome to Douchebags R Us. <laughs> um, yeah, I have a little bear dancing, and I was absolutely so happy. It's on the cover of Tokyo Sports. It's his newspaper, Okada winning the title. And... Sorry. Here it is. I want to say, and this is my tweet. I said, thank you, New Japan. I forgot at times, and I put quotes, you know, WWE Pro Wrestling can be great, fun, and bring joy to your life. And then I screamed, Okada! I absolutely enjoyed it. I was in a negative place. Uh, I was cranky, uh, working two full-time jobs. You know, it was Father's Day. I wasn't, you know, I'm not cranky as Father's Day, but, you know, I was, like, chilling out with the kids watch a little pro wrestling, like, ah, I might not be that great, and I was wrong. It was absolutely amazing. I, I enjoyed this pay-per-view a lot, and I had a lot of fun with it. So, um, I don't, like I said, I don't know what happened to Money in the Bank yet. Hopefully that was a good show, too. But overall, I give this a huge win. But with that said, I have to pre-warn people. You know, you have to tell, be honest, you know. I am a huge Okada fan. All right, let's break this down as best we can. I'm reading the results off ProWrestling.me. Thanks to David Cooey putting them up. And it starts off with Kojima, Tenza, and Nakanishi defeat Jay White, David Finley, and Juice Robinson in a pre-show match. Eh, I, I called it in the preview, so we got it. Let's move on. The Bullet Club, a bad luck fale, which just he's impressing me more and more. Takahashi and the hangman Adam Page defeat the Bullet Club Hunters. Uh, Makabe, Yoshitatsu, and Captain New Japan. And guess who takes the bit? <laughs> I I don't find Captain New Japan to be fun anymore. It's just like, all right, we get it. We, we get what you're trying to do. It's over. You know, um, you know, we bust balls about them running the same joke into the ground over and over and over. This is, this is, Captain New Japan is getting into WWE bad comedy territory. Um, so the Bullet Club does win, and poor Yoshitatsu. It just seems, you know, he's trying to get his shit together, but it doesn't work out. You got Chaos, Ishii, and Yoshihashi defeat Loss, and I thought Loss was on fire. I live in Tokyo, Japan, and, you know, I see so much merchandise of Loss, even outside of wrestling events. They are crazy over. Absolutely crazy over. And um, I can't believe that lost lost so much. <laughs> um, Sonata and Bushi lose. Uh, Goto defeats Evil. Why? I, I don't know. It's just, hey, it happens. Now, I know I'm being a little negative, but this is where it picks the 
fuck up. This is where it's like, all right. And in, in New Japan, they do have a slow build. They do have matches no one gives a fuck about, at least, you know, if you're honest. I know you got some super guys out there that'll be like, everything New Japan does is wonderful. And I'm saying that as my kids got me a Father's Day gift. I'm wearing a New Japan shirt. But still, you know, no, not everything they do is wonderful. Uh, but as of after the Goto match... That is it. And it's always it's always that way. It seems that way. Except if it's Wrestle Kingdom. It always seems like it's like... Warming up, warming up, warming up, and then bang! They just fucking hit you with that right hook over and over and over again. So many damn title changes, folks. You got the Young Bucks who are five-time, 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 five-time IWGP Junior Tag Team Champions. Now listen, I hate the fucking Bullet Club, but I love the Young Bucks. Am I a hypocrite? Judge me all you want. If loving the Young Bucks is wrong, I don't want to be right. They defeat Red Dragon, RPG, uh, Rapungi Vice, uh, Ricochet, and Matt Sedell to become the champs. Um, I hope Ricochet goes off on his own. I would love to see Ricochet, maybe Kushida, Ricochet, Will Ospreay. We can see that another fucking 76 fucking times. Um, so yeah, it should, it should be really interesting. Um, I don't, I don't, hate Matt Sedell, but it's always like Ricochet and the other guy. You know what I mean? I don't know if anyone else feels that way, but that's the way it feels like. Um, so yeah, the Young Bucks do win. I was a bit shocked by this, folks. I really was. Um, I'm happy for the Young Bucks. Next, the only... There's so many title changes, and this, and my preview, and Twitter, and all that, and Universe, I was like, ah, oh, dude, no, Will Ospreay's winning the title. It's just, you know, he won the tournament, it's Will Ospreay. I, I just thought he was going to win this. The match was amazing, but Kushida defeats him to return, retain the IWGP Junior Heavyweight Champion. And, dude, so many fucking titles switched hands. It, it's crazy. That's one good thing I love about New Japan is that you really don't know who's going to win. You know, the more and more you watch, you, you don't know. And I love that feeling. It hasn't always been that way for New Japan. But I love the feeling. It reminded me of Paul Heyman's ECW, where anything can fucking happen, and the roster so packed, and you love the roster so much. That's where it's at. But I thought for sure that if anyone was going to change titles, I, I did not see this many title changes come. I thought there'd be like one or two shocks, but I thought for sure Will Ospreay would beat Kushida, and I was wrong. Uh, very entertaining. I thought it was... But here's the lean and nitpick here. It was two cruiserweight matches in a row, and I love cruiserweights, the junior heavyweights, the X division, lucha, whatever you want to call it. I love that style of wrestling, but as a booker, I don't like that style of wrestling back to back. I like to mix it up. I'm backstage, backseat booking here, but as a backseat booker, I would have bumped up the Briscoes. But now, I don't know. I would have fucking, I would have, I would have changed up the lineup. That's what I'm saying. Because then you have two tag teams back to back. Um, and that, the, then you have the Bullet Club's uh, God, Gorillas of Destiny, Tamatonga, and the other fucking douche um, versus the Briscoes. And I thought the Briscoes were going to win, and I was going to root for them, but I didn't really expect them to win. <laughs> like, I wouldn't be come on here and like, I called it, yeah, Briscoe. I did not really expect them to win. And, you know, ROH has a big pay-per-view this Friday. Hopefully I get to watch it. I'm crazy busy with two jobs. I apologize. I'm not on this channel more. Hopefully, uh, I can change that in the future. Uh, but the Briscoes defeat the Bullet Clubs, uh, Gorillas of Destiny, Tamatunga, and I was shocked afterwards. Fucking Adam Page and some other fucking schmuck. I think it was Takahashi. Don't quote me on that. Ran in, and I just I don't know. Like it's gonna give me some heel heat. I don't fucking I don't I fucking think I I honestly think Bullet Club is way too big. And I don't think Adam Page is ready for this spot. You know, I thought, hey, uh, hey fuck me, right? Um, so it should be interesting. And not only that, but it makes me feel, because I, 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 I love New Japan. I love Ring of Honor. I will always pick New Japan over Ring of Honor. And I think New Japan is way better than Ring of Honor. But I love the fact that they're working together. And it feels like they're working together. Briscoe's just won the IWGP Heavyweight Tag Team Championship. You know, that's absolutely amazing. And um, I'm, you know, rooting for him. I, I'm a big Briscoe's fan. I know that's not everyone's cup of tea. And speaking of cup of teas, check it the fuck out of your goddamn mouth. You got Shibata and Nagata 
and the strongest fucking styles of all styles. Jesus Christ, Yamata. And Nagata, I fucking wondered if this fucking 946-year-old man can still hang because he is one of the greatest. This motherfucker, you know, he goes on national television almost... Uh, he goes on national television a lot. Nagata's really a famous guy outside of pro wrestling, too. And he says he wants to be the... IW, the oldest IWGP heavyweight champion of all time. And, like, sometimes I fucking like <laughs> Justice. <laughs> but holy shit. I fucking, you know, oh, dude, I can't even fucking walk up the stairs without having a goddamn heart attack. And this motherfucker's putting on fucking strong style matches with Shibata, one of the fucking greatest wrestlers in the world right now. Proud? Maybe? Maybe? Don't quote me on this. I'm gonna throw out a, I'm gonna throw out a feel. I don't know if I am 100% behind this quote, but I want to throw it out there anyway. Maybe Shibata is the best at strong style right now. You know, you got Nakamura stuck in NXT. Maybe Shibata is the best strong style. I don't know. Meet me up in the comments. But I thought if you like strong style wrestling, I thought this was amazing. Shibata does win the Never Open Weight Championship. And they got the Shibata shake hands and they had a bunch of legends ringside. So I absolutely enjoyed it. And... I, I know I'm going to get some heel heat for this, but I think Shibata just needs a tiny, not a lot, not a lot, no WWE this, just a tiny bit more character. You know, look what Naito did with just fucking, he was like one of the best wrestlers in the world, got some fucking character behind him and took the fuck off. But I think Shibata can do that. So, absolutely amazing. And then a ladder match, because it was supposed to be Tanahashi, but Tanahashi got injured. Kayfabe, not kayfabe. There's debates on internet forums. I don't want to get into it, but he's not there. And you got Michael Elgin and Kenny Omega. Two guys that had rough years, you know, prior to this year. And two guys that are just fucking dominated. And the reason I love Michael, Michael Elgin and Kenny Omega is for two, for one fucking reason. They man the fuck up. You know, a lot of people fucking just go on and blame the IWC. A lot of people blame the internet. A lot of people be like, well, they don't know shit. And they just fucking get in their stupid ass little bubble. Michael Elgin, Kenny Omega didn't do that. They had rough years. Not, you know, not last year, but, you know, they had rough years recently. And a G1 and becoming the leader of the Bullet Club. These motherfuckers do hard work and busting ass, not crying on the fucking internet. Fucking just amazing. Absolutely amazing. And I was so happy. Elgin does win. Some of the spots in this ladder match was absolutely fantastic. I had no idea. Like, I, I fucking love Kenny Omega. And I lo well, I, I love Kenny Omega prior to the Bullet Club and when he became a leader. When he was just a fucking random fucking gaijin wearing a fucking Bullet Club shirt. Fuck that guy. But um, Ken Kenny Omega, uh, I just fucking can't believe how strong he was, dude. It was like, holy fuck, man. Um, and Michael Elgin, and they just had some fucking spots where you're just like, holy shit, there's a ladder that just fucking jammed into Elgin's fucking shoulder. <laughs> like, holy shit. Um, they fucking dropped on ladders and fucking tables the hard way. It was just, it's fucking ridiculous. I remember tweeting, oh my god, Kenny Omega's dead. Oh my god, Kenny Omega's dead. There was a fucking ladder spot, I mean, a table spot off a ladder, and Kenny Omega just fucking bounced. Goddamn table. I, that's got to be on Botchamania, one of the fucking table spots. I don't know if it's a botch, but Jesus Christ, that table. That table got the best of Kenny goddamn Omega, folks. I enjoyed it. It was the first ladder match in IWGP history, and hopefully, you know, hopefully they, um, I mean, New Japan history, according to historians and according to the thing. Oh, the fucking, they explain the rules. They explain the rules with cartoon heads. Uh, dude, that's worth the 9.99 yen alone. Just seeing the clip of <laughs> New Japan explaining the rules through horrible, horrible, wonderful, horrible and wonderful animation was absolutely fantastic. Um, I absolutely enjoyed the second half of this card and then the main event. I was rooting for Okada as a huge Okada fanboy, but I thought Naito was going to win. He sold the most merchandise. Where are they going? Wrestle Kingdom? Where are they going with the G1? It's very interesting. Um, I think they're giving Okada and Naito out a little too much. I was really worried Okada would lose. Then what's going to happen? Does he have to win the G1? I, I love Okada, and I was rooting for him. I honestly did not think he was going to win, and it brought me so much joy. 
I thought the main event was amazing, and it's probably one of, one of my favorite matches ever, just because I did not think my favorite wrestler was going to win, and he did. It was such a great fucking feeling. And it's not one of those, oh, wow, he's going against a shitty wrestler. It's my favorite wrestler going against one of the best wrestlers in the world, and the match was absolutely amazing. Okada won, and it fucking legit, legit brought joy into my life. Legit made me feel good. And I don't get that from pro wrestling too often. So I really appreciate it. I thought the, the whole the whole fucking card, starting, the whole card, the whole pay-per-view is amazing. But starting from the Young Bucks match down, you know, you go one, two, three, four, four matches in, that fifth match. I don't know if you count the pre-show match or not. So if you don't count the pre-show match, fourth match, the Young Bucks, the Young Bucks, Kushida, Briscoe, Shibata, Elgin, Okada. I mean, it was just fucking amazing. The only thing I can say is they had cruiserweight matches back to back. That's it. That's like fucking, and I just didn't fucking see it coming. I didn't see any of this coming. And it leaves us with so many goddamn questions. Um, and I'm a huge fucking, I, I, my favorite event of the year, I go every year, is Wrestle Kingdom. And I'm worried about Wrestle Kingdom. Who does Okada take on? Are they going to go Okada Naito again? Is Okada going to be the champ? I know, I, I think it was Wrestle Kingdom 8, don't quote me on that, but they had some bullshit fucking poll that I still literally, I live in Tokyo, Japan, go to New Japan events, go to press bars, and I literally have not physically met anyone that voted for the Tanahashi poll. Well, there was a Wrestle Kingdom where they had a poll, and I'm using quote marks on an audio show because I'm a fucking idiot, but they had a poll, and I've, I've lived in Tokyo, I've been to New Japan, I've been to Pro Rest Bars, I've been to Dragon Gate, and I, I go out of my way, I've not yet met anyone that voted on that poll, and you know what, I know like Naito and Okada, they're jamming it down our throats, but Naito and Okada deserve the fucking main event spot at Wrestle Kingdom. Fuck you, Tanahashi. I love you, Tanahashi. But with I love you so much, Tanahashi, but with all my heart, fuck you. All right, let's go to some fucking comments throughout my social media, and then we'll wrap this bad boy up. I don't know how long this video is. <laughs> like a short review. Fucking 27 fucking minutes later. Uh, Michael Tiexa, T-E-I-X-E-I-R-A. Tahira? I totally slaughtered that. The main event was awesome. Yeah, that was on ProWrestling.me. Um, on Facebook, Ricardo Edwards says, I'm happy for Okada, but felt Naito should have retained the title and forced Okada to win the G1. I was okay with that. I didn't think Okada was going to win. I really didn't. Lost, losing all their matches make them look very weak, in my honest opinion. Ah. <sighs> Yeah, I did not see that coming. I thought they lost on all, all their matches because Naito was definitely going to win. Um, I don't know if they look that weak, but I see your point. Hope Naito wins the G1. Otherwise, who would New Japan have face Okada? I think Naito and Okada deserve that at Wrestle Kingdom. Um, I don't know. I have no idea. Maybe, maybe Kenny Omega? I don't know. Um, I, I, the only thing is, I love Naito Okada matchup. I just think they're giving it to us uh, too often. And that scares me. That absolutely scares me. All right. So some people uh, saying that it was hard to stay awake through the whole thing and the internet was acting up. Um, I, I saw it. Okay, fine. Um, Zachary says, the internet I used was bleh. So I missed some parts of matches. I missed the entrance of some wrestlers. Overall, show was a win. However, I felt angry with general New Japan wrestling problems. I wonder what those problems are. I, I think, because the thing is, I love New Japan, but I get angry because they don't really take chances. They take chances in the ring. They take chances even booking. But they don't take, they, they, like, every show should have English commentary. Every show. There's so many great English speakers living in Tokyo, and I'm totally not fucking trying to fucking put in goddamn resume here. But go on Twitter. They just got so many amazing English speakers. And none of that, but there's so many people that you can put in there full-time. And maybe the Ring of Honor staff. You know, bring in the Ring of Honor guys. It wouldn't be too bad. Um, and Steve Carino would be amazing. And Kevin Kelly, you know, 
I, I don't know. I like Kevin Kelly a lot. He's really he's really improved a lot. But all the shows should be in English commentary. All the shows should have two shot cameras. I, I just think New Japan, you're the second biggest company in the world, in, in my opinion. A lot of people shout TNA, but I, I don't think so. But that's another debate I don't really want to get into because TNA people are delusional. But even if they're the third biggest in the world, let's let's just say dude, they they have to take a chance and go for it. It's not like they don't need to sign talent. All they need is fucking a goddamn airline. Throw if I get a couple airplane tickets, get Lenny Leonard, Kevin Kelly. I don't know, fucking you know, Matt Striker. But Matt, I love you, Matt Striker. But for the love of fucking God, take it seriously. And Steve Carino is absolutely fucking. I love Steve Carino. I love Steve Carino more than a straight man should. All right. Uh, George has just fucking left a comment. He's about how much I love New Japan. I really do. Uh, Boom Boom on Facebook said, Watch the show. Some questionable booking by New Japan, especially with Okada, but I guess it helps when the head booker is your buddy. And I, I can see that, but I disagree with that. I think Okada is the best wrestler in the world, and he had to eat shit. Do, not, do we not ever remember Wrestle Kingdom 9? It would be different if he wasn't the best wrestler in the world. His buddy wasn't even ringside. And I honestly think... I think he lost... Wrestle... I think it was Wrestle Kingdom 9. Is that the one fucking Tanahashi goddamn beat Okada? Get the fuck out of here. I... You know... But I don't know. I'm a bit of an Okada fan. But I guess this is my question. Do you think him being help with the head booker fucking helps him out? I don't know. I don't know. It's interesting. Um, Zachary responds to that. LOL, I wondered about the Okada finish too. Watching this show was a win. However, brought out some things I did slash didn't know bothered me. Hopefully I'll write a review on Dominion with my issues. All right, no problem. And boom, boom, boom. Let's see. Just trying to look. All right. Just trying to get some more live comments here. Not live comments, but social media comments. I can't do it live. I apologize. Um, at... Zaya Morgan said that match was fucking great with Michael Elgin. Um, at Wrestling Ranted, a close friend of ours, says, I get a sense through the crowd that he hasn't warmed up to them yet. And that was the Briscoes. I just think they had two crews. He's talking about the Briscoes winning the title and the Briscoes match and the fans not giving a shit. I think you had two amazing Cruiserweight matches. And then you... I, I don't know. I like the Briscoes, but yeah, it wasn't exactly, wasn't exactly perfect on their behalf. Um, at SOS Wrestle Talk showed us some love. Hopefully, they'll be doing a more in-depth review than me. Um, at Marcus New York fifteen says your boy Okada is once the champion again, and I love it. Uh, at Baka Oamubu, I totally slaughtered that. A WWE less life is sweet. I enjoyed TNA last night. What well, is with always TNA guys? No matter what you say, they have to mention like TNA. I always wonder, do they get paid? Do they really enjoy TNA that much? I, I don't see that. I don't see, like, oh, TNA is awesome. I don't see people, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Maybe they, I don't know. It's a weird, weird thing to say. But it happens often. And uh, at SOS Wrestle Talk, hopefully, I wish I could do the show with them, but just working is a pain in the ass. He says, love Okada, hate it. Love Okada, hated seeing Naito lose. Yeah, I understand that. Naito, Naito kind of shocked me about that. All right. And um, I just want to give a special plug. I'll put a link in it. Um, Zachary Zillolo. I totally slaughtered that. Um, S H I L O H. <coughs> put New Japan Dominion 2006. Random thoughts on New Japan. Um, he just put it on ProWrestling.me. We're trying to make a social media place like <coughs> like a Facebook, like Twitter, like Reddit, but nothing but pro wrestling for passionate fans. And I hope it takes off. Um, it's been a bit of a rocky road, but thanks to guys like a Zachary and a couple other guys really busting their ass, <coughs> I just hope that, you know, it would be cool. I, I My goal would be I'd love to have a thousand passionate pro wrestling fans with like two, like maybe 20 to 200 power users. That'd be absolutely amazing. But, you know, I know being a new site, you need the pioneer members. You need those hard workers. So it really means a lot. Um, for me to Zachary. So please check it out. I'll put a link down below. He, <coughs> he gives uh, a couple rundowns of it. All right, I am choking and dying, so I think this is a good time to wrap up the show. Overall, I give it a win. I enjoyed it. 
I think it's worth the 9.99 yen. New Japan World is New Japan perfect? Uh, no. But is it the most enjoyable product out there in ring wise? Without a doubt. Without a doubt. <coughs> And hopefully they get the other parts of the business right so we can join. I am really effing dying here. So, um, yeah. Dude, this might be my last show ever because I'm dead. Oh, O'Connor, save me! <laughs> Let me get a zap here. Like, comment, subscribe. Check out CocoSports.net. Hopefully Jerry does something. Check out ProWrestling.me. We're trying to get a bunch of stuff going. Um, check out Coco Plays. It's me, my Let's Play channel, and I hope to do more stump idiots. I hope to do more stuff. LK, if he's not done, if he's not busy doing side projects, hopefully he'll come back. I uh, got Boom Boom, Sammy. We got <coughs> we got a whole gang of people. I am literally dying. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, I probably should end the show. But yeah, like, comment, subscribe, and hopefully you know. Let's see. LK plans on doing a Money in the Bank review show tomorrow, and then the next day a Raw review show, and then hopefully we can have a meeting and unfuck a lot of fucked up shit. All right. So like, comment, subscribe, and I am going to die. If this is my last show, if this is my last day on Earth because I'm choking and dying, I just want to say thank you, Okada. <laughs> <coughs> oh man, what happened? With that, I am over. Bum 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 bum.